Hi, my amazing friends. It's challenge time. And today, myself and my mom, Grandma Sandy, are putting on a challenge called Mackenzie Childs. And this is a freestyle challenge, so all of the creators who are participating can um, decorate their home in any way they want. And they don't have to use an actual Mackenzie Childs piece, they can use a dupe or something that looks very similar. So come along as we see what I put together for my Mackenzie Childs challenge. So let's start with the inspiration. It's this beautiful pumpkin picture I have. Now, I didn't paint this. I did get this from a um, paint store, not paint store, but you know, like a paint night um, place. And there was only a dollar, so you can beat that. So now we've got some little pumpkins from the Dollar Tree. I think I got these last year. Grateful and the other one um, just has the little sunflowers on them. But I thought they were pretty. I like the, the creamy color of white that they have. And then I have these really pretty candlesticks. I got these at mm, maybe Ross or Burlington, I'm not sure. And these little pumpkins are super cute. They have like little bean bags in, inside bean bags. <laughs> Anyways, and then the stems, they are the um, like leather, um, really cute. And it come in a, it came in a set of three, I believe. So I've got two there and then some on the other side. And this little scarecrow guy, he's so cute. I've had him for years. He's actually a candle holder. So you just put an orange candle and he glows. But I didn't put one in for this video. But he is so cute. Now here is the first of my Mackenzie Child's um, pumpkins. And as you can see, the different stripes of color running through. Um, there's greens and purples and blues um, some greens I said I think I said that already some pink um, so it's just really it's the painting is really interesting because it uses all these different colors within um, the black and white check so that's the first of the Mackenzie Child um, pumpkin now I got these on sale um, so I did not pay full price, um, so just want you to know that. <laughs> and then here's the other one. This is the uh, Harlequin pattern. And that also has all those different color variations. We've got yellow, green, um, pinks, purples running through them. Now this one is a little glossy, whereas the other one is a matte. Um, so I used two different um, designs and finishes. Uh, so let's go on over to the other side. Now I found this little pumpkin at Hobby Lobby. And it's kind of like a plastic weave. Um, but I like the colors in it. Um, it's not one color. And that way you can mix and match um, with other ones. And then here's a box that some salt pepper shakers came out of. And I think using the box as a riser is a really great idea. So now I'm showing you my uh, the parchment check. And it's actually a um, utensil holder. But I'm using it as a vase. So I made this little um, floral arrangement using these apples from the Dollar Tree. Um, most of those florals came from either the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. Um, but that parchment check container is really nice. Again, it has all the different colors running through it. Um, I think I showed something similar in my last video. And it wasn't this particular item, but the parchment check is really nice. And then um, I wanted to show the tablecloth. It was um, a great find at the secondhand store. It's got some pumpkins, it uh, looks like some wheat. Uh, let's see what else. There's acorns. Um, so it's 
I thought it would be cool to use for this video. And then I incorporated that little box that we always have on the um, console um, because the colors worked so well. And there's another one of those pumpkins that I got from Ross and another candle holder uh, from Burlington. And then I'm going to come over and show you my giant pumpkin from uh, Mackenzie Child. And now this is a um, velvet pumpkin. So it's got the black velvet and then the black and white check. And I just added that little leaf there. Um, but I love that pillow. But it's really big so it's taking up a lot of space there. And there's another one of those um, boxes that I'm using as a riser. And then I'm showing you the pumpkin candle holders. I got a set of those and I just love that they have the different designs. You've got your, um, your I don't know, that's like an inverted check and then the next level is a check and then a polka dot and then the stripe. So I like that um, variation um, so that's what drew me to buy those candle holders. And then here is the royal, not royal, uh, courtly check um, teapot. It's kind of hiding, so I got to move that candle holder. And then I just added that cute little tea towel with a pumpkin on it because the theme is pumpkin, of course. So I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by and seeing how I decorated or I used my Mackenzie Child in this challenge. Now if you're not already a subscriber to this challenge, I would ask that you consider, please, 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 <laughs> I'm trying to grow this channel. And um, if you're a loyal subscriber already, thank you so much for always stopping by and giving me love and support. And remember to use that like button, thumbs up, and that tells YouTube you like my content and hopefully it'll help me grow. Now sit back and enjoy the rest of the video to music. Bye bye.